Hi, Debbie here. Just sharing with you another Mother's Day bouquet that I've done for someone. Um, I think it turned out really pretty. Lots of candy in there. I made a back um, centerpiece that's got bling stuck on it there. Just silver and pink bling. You can see it bling in there. Uh, full of candy. Uh, I'll show you a couple of the bits that I did get. Uh, I picked up these and it's a whole string of them. So there would have been one, two, five. You get five on a string. And I got it from the pound store. So that's when you cut them up, that's going to be 20p each. And I attached it obviously onto... Uh, the one of the barbecue skewers with a bit of bling and a bit of tulle and it turns out really pretty just secured it in with a bit of hot glue onto the stick and it turned out really pretty uh, the barbecue skewers you get a pack of a hundred and I have been buying them from Tiger but the pound store now has the summer barbecue things in and we're not even in spring so that's great that's their pound a pack so that's good and what i've been doing basically make up a bunch of the cellophane and tulle filler bits and you secure them with sellotape and they make all the spaces in your basket filled up with some lovely bits of colour so and then the back piece I did very quite tall and I bought these lovely little I think they're actually card toppers and they are a, a, on hard cardboard and they've got added bits of bling there and there was about I think there was 12 for two pounds so they're a nice extra touch to add into your baskets uh, the bucket, tin bucket, was 99p and that was from B&M Bargains. So if you can, on your travels, look out for things that you can use for your baskets. It brings the cost down. This has actually been made for someone for their mum for Mother's Day. So everything I have used, obviously, is new. But if I was using it for maybe one of my family, I would maybe upcycle uh, um a charity shop find bucket or some sort of I don't know a receptacle that's that's deep enough and fill it with the oasis but when it's for somebody else I like to look to new, look for the new things obviously because you don't know what people are like I love upcycle stuff so it wouldn't bother me but yeah so that's turned out really really pretty uh, so I was quite pleased with that pleased with the finds with these Roses, they're like a, like a rubber type feel, they're soft. So I'm going to go back and get some more different colours of those. I just thought that was a really good buy. And then obviously the, the tulle, um, I've been buying from Tiger. It's a pound for a metre by a metre. It's probably quite expensive, like I've mentioned in my previous video. But uh, I will be getting some from Amazon. And then at Hobbycroft yesterday, they had... Um, uh, a sale on this pink cello and usually it's about I don't know about four pound a roll and it doesn't go very far this roll doesn't really last it probably do a couple of baskets and that would be it but it was a pound yesterday so I picked up another couple of those usually they are very expensive this basket I'm not going to wrap in cellophane this time because I think it'll squash quite a lot of the detail so I'm just going to leave that open but yeah, but the the preparation, I mean, they do take some time because you've got to prep all your all your fillers and, you know, you have to go around the bit. You have to make sure that you haven't got any space. You know, you can't see any sticks. And then obviously you want it to look nice at the back as well. So if I pop it there and you can see from the back, it looks lovely as well. Because you don't want to turn it round and have loads of burr sticks showing because that just wouldn't be nice at all. So take the time to finish off your basket properly, your basket or your bucket, bouquet, 
I just get mixed up these days. And um, you'll have a lovely gift. So, oh. try your hand out. If you haven't tried these before, they, can, they get easier with time. Once you've learnt how to put the uh, cellophane and the tool together on the sticks and secure it, you know, you'll be aware. You'll be making them for everybody. Bye for now.